What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, for breakfast, I didn't really have anything. For lunch, I had quinoa salad. And for dinner, I just had such a big taco salad. For those of you who don't know what taco salad is, you get like these Tex Mex sort of American tacos. And with the leftovers that you have, you put them all into a big bowl, crunch up some corn chips in there, and then you have a thing called a taco salad, and it's really tasty. You put some salsa on there, that's a dressing, it's, it's good. Um, but I had a taco salad and it was just so big. You know when you, like, I don't know if I just overeat sometimes, but you, you know when you eat just so much food, like typically this happens on Thanksgiving, but you eat so much food where you don't want to get up or else you're afraid you might like throw up. <laughs> um, you know, as soon as I was done eating the food, I just got onto my phone because I couldn't... If I got up, I knew something bad would happen. So I had to keep sitting down for about eight minutes. And then it was digested enough for me to start doing the dishes on it. So, yeah. Uh, and it's actually... It's good that I skipped breakfast today because I feel like... God, I would have consumed so much food if it was breakfast plus lunch plus that just gigantic taco salad. Um, but yeah, I woke up at five. Yeah, I woke up at five this morning. Uh, I left at seven, um, took the bus, took the train, showed up at school, turned in my essay, the physical version of the essay. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Um, my analysis skills have improved since the first essay. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's like, I'm not super, it's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really thinking about it. Um, I turned in my essay though, so I'm happy about that. Uh, sorry guys, this taco salad is still, is still messing me up. Uh, it's, you know, when I moved around like that, a burp came up and it was crazy. Um, you know, some crazy stuff is happening inside my body right now. Uh, so, full, you know, full disclosure, I guess. Um, I don't know, what, is, what has happened? Uh, yeah, so I turned in my essay, uh, and then class ended like an hour early. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half, and the class was only really half an hour. Um, and I was just turning stuff in, because we're not doing any more analysis, really. Like, we're, we're not, you know, my professor was sick for a couple weeks, so we weren't able to fully, like, dive into the Beninine essay. And so, um, uh, we, we have enough time to do two essays and have, like, a weird amount of time at the end of the quarter, um, but we don't have enough time to do like a real analysis on Beninine, which sucks, but I still have the Beninine essay, um, Art and Reproduction, so I might read it later. Uh, it just seems interesting. But um, I've been doing this thing where I move, I don't know if this is because of like my new dry skin, but I move around and I sort of twitch my, I don't twitch my eye, but I like move, you know, like I go like that and it closes my eye when I just mean to like move my face around. Like I just mean to move my face around, but then I end up winking and it's weird. And that is not what I mean to do. You know, sometimes I'm looking back at my old videos and I do cringe stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Why was I so weird? Um, but I think I still do stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the 24 days of Christmas thing is starting tomorrow, which is crazy because I don't have a numbering system I've thought up yet. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a sort of series every year uh, where the 24 days leading up to Christmas, I sort of uh, put some extra effort into my thumbnails and, you know, that's pretty much it. I just, you know, think about my thumbnails throughout the day and, you know, if I have to work on a quick one, you know, I don't have that much time, I just be sure to uh, make it at least a little interesting as opposed to just throwing some, some text on screen. But if I have some time, let's say it's a weekend, uh, you know, I, I, I tend to, you know, work on my thumbnail and then record my video. Um, and that results in typically more interesting, uh, images. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know. I think last year I really cooked a lot. Um, so we'll see how I am this year. I'm, you know, I'm not, it, it's not, it, it's, it's like one of those. It's not like, uh, I'm not super worried about my thumbnail performance in the month of December. Uh, in the same way, I'm not super worried about me turning in my me turning in my analysis essay. 
you know, it, it's like not, it's not even, it's not even a thing in my mind, you know, it's not something I'm thinking about. Um, but I do need to think of a numbering system. I might do something from a foreign language, maybe, uh, but it'd have to be something, in, like maybe Chinese or something. Like Chinese is a cool numbering system. And it's scalable. I want to do something with images, but the thing that sucks is that images are pixels. And I want to be able to scale it up and down like a font, you know? Um, because, you know, I make some of my thumbnails in 480 pixels wide, and I make some of them in 1920 pixels wide. Do some of them, like, just a few, just a couple hundred pixels wide, you know? And I have to... Oh. I have to, I have to be able to divide the number that makes up the... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what I'm saying, but, you know, um... Yeah, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, so one, once once English class ended, I the guy next to me was uh, ta was talking to me. Uh, this guy just like, talks to me. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe he wants to be my friend or something. I'm, you know, I'm 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 not against that. You know, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like a weird alien who's never made friends before. But yeah, this guy's talking to me, and uh, uh, he wants to do his analysis essay on the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, which I know nothing about superhero movies, and I know nothing about Batman. I really liked the X-Men movies, actually, but those are really the only superhero movies I've seen. Uh, except for the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I saw them one in theaters. <laughs> um, and I ate those little chocolate candies that look like rocks. Like, exactly like rocks, and then you eat them, and they, they're chocolate. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, you know, I don't watch many superhero movies. And uh, he was just at a complete block. Like he was, he really likes the the Dark Knight trilogy of movies. And um, you know, he was, just, he was talking to me about it, and he was talking about how he doesn't know where to start. And I was like, in in my head, I was thinking, hmm, this person, this person doesn't says he doesn't know where to start. I think that this is implying that he's asking me for help, but he doesn't want to directly say that. So I sort of recognized that in my head, and I was like, boop 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 boo, you know, and I said things to him. <laughs> I, you know, I said things to him. Um, I talked about how, you know, Christopher Nolan is a pretty critically acclaimed director. Um, the Dark Knight had apparently changed a lot of superhero movies in the future. Um, so, yeah, because because Christopher Nolan is such a crit critically acclaimed director, um, it could imply to the audience uh, that they want to view it with the intention of viewing the world, um, which the only really, the only, like, canonical way to make an, uh, uh, worldly object is for it to um sort of withstand the life process uh or or remove itself from the life process um that, that's like the only canonical way for something to become worldly but but cheat code uh something can be worldly something can be a worldly object if everybody witnessing that object witnesses it with the intention of viewing world so uh you know you look at a lot of you know art analysis, you have a lot of options for like, you know, really old paintings from like the 1600s, which are like Monet's and stuff. Uh, and maybe Monet wasn't from the 1600s, don't, I, had, I have no idea when Monet made his paintings, but you, you know, it's paintings like Monet, and then you see like a Banksy painting, right? And Banksy isn't dead, he's still making paintings, or whatever, he's still making graffiti, and his art affects the aura of all his other art, so it's not static, it's not, you know, it's not worldly in that sense. However, um, you know, everybody who witnesses, uh, a Banksy, uh, sort of witnesses it with the intention of viewing a worldly object, whether or not that's valid, right? And so, it, um, yeah, I, I'm not saying anything about Banksy, um, but, you know, that, uh, you know, implies a certain worldliness that that object will have. Uh, like, people knew that, like, The Godfather was going to be a critically acclaimed film for decades after it came out. And uh, people knew that, what, I, maybe Pulp Fiction was going to be critically acclaimed for decades once it came out. Um, and stuff like that. Like, um, when Hannah Arendt in the 1960s was talking about cultural objects, and when Beninine was talking about uh, art reproduction, uh, they both talked about film pretty regularly because it was in the 60s and film was, like, in a lot of people's lifetimes. Like, they, you know, they remember when film started getting really popular. And... Um, you know, they 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 talked about film in the context of having the possibility of becoming a worldly object, 
despite none of the creators of films being dead yet. Nobody had died and their aura wasn't static. However, um, it was such a, it was like a new medium and I feel like, and this is just, this is my bias speaking. I, I you know, I, I, I have a feeling that maybe, perhaps, um, you know, in the same way people knew that The Godfather was going to be critically acclaimed for decades when it came out, uh, people like Hannah Arendt and people like Walter Benjamin, their work had implied that, um, in the same sense of The Godfather, that movies were going to be worldly, right? They were going to be world. Uh, they were they were going to have a worldly possibility to them. Um, so that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying that the concept of the audience in viewing a cultural object with the intention of viewing world um, is like valid and it, like kind of kind of a valid sort of cheat code way to to make to making an object worldly. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I mentioned how Christopher Nolan uh, did it, and Christopher Nolan is sort of a you know uh, he's he's a pretty controversial director, but you know, he's certainly uh, famous, right? And he's a director that a lot of people know the names of. And a lot of people know the name of. And it's like, you know, you see a Christopher Nolan movie, you know what to expect, you know? And that's like, you know, you can't say that for a lot of other directors. And so Christopher Nolan has a sort of air around his work, you know, uh, whether, whether that be valid or not. Um, and, you know, you could talk about that. Uh, you could talk about how it used IMAX, is what I mentioned. Uh, you know, you can go from Christopher Nolan to his usage of IMAX, and then you could talk about um, the, uh, the 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 aura of the movie from the uh, usage of IMAX, right? And how um, you know a lot of a lot of movies don't use IMAX, and what that, what that could mean. Uh, and then you know that that seemed to sort of set him off, and and then he was just writing on his laptop for the rest of that. Um, and I think I gave him some ideas on where to start. Um, cause the essays do today, uh, he, you know, there's some leeway. You, you can turn it in like a few days, but it's like do do technically today. Um, no, it's do technically today. It's do do in like three days. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that made me feel five head. Cause I, you know, I just, I'm such an expert at analysis. I'm so good at analysis, guys. I could just, I just throw stuff. I could throw stuff out of my brain. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, aside, you know, aside from that, I'm just hanging out. Um, and then there's math class, and math class was so boring. We're learning about um, we're learning about vectors, and I never learned about vectors. I uh, we're doing like some trigonometry stuff, and then we started learning about vectors. So I don't know if vectors are like something I should have learned in high school, but I never learned about vectors. Uh, but we're learning about vectors and it's interesting, but it's not like, I don't care, like I don't care about vectors. And to do the IT degree I, I wanna do, um, you just have to take this random math class. <laughs> like, why, like why do you need to know about vectors if you're gonna be, to, uh, like, what what CompTIA certification question asks you about vectors? I don't know. All right, see you, dude.